Hello guys, welcome back. In this React Native with a Jest video, we will discuss and learn about the how we can write the API test cases with the in the Jest, and we will do it with the mock functions. So first of all, I want to show you that what we will going to do through this video, and after that, I'll going to uh, do the code from the very scratch. Okay, so this is our API. You can see that and we call it from here from the user function uh, user module and in the home we just try to return this okay so let's try to run it once so so you can see that we got the same data from the api and this is the test case so this is the mock functions and here we we will get the result here and now just clear this window and try to run this case and you will see this this is going to run successfully and now we are going to create the all these things from the very scratch so all right so let's get started with the practical example so i'm going to delete the uh, element file code element test file code and we can delete the user files also so we don't need to delete this code because if we are going to write the old code that uh, it could be too much so uh, it will take the too much time and this is not the related to our uh, test case also so it will just uh, show him for the data so now uh, first of all just uh, create the user mo users module and call the api so first of all just create the class and write the users class class name okay just call a function You can put the function name whatever you want okay so return fetch and here we have to pass the fetch api url we got from here we will going to get this fetch api and this is the we can access this with the uh, get function all right so now just use the then to resolve the promise Right here, the parameter just like the response, and now uh, just return the response here. Return response, and you can use the json.json function to convert in the json. All right, so now, first of all, let's check is it working, find the API or not. Okay, let's refresh it once my API is why is going to crash every time. Okay, so we have to export the function first of all. We forgot to export. Export default users. Alright. That's why it's it's grown. it got crashed here. Alright. So now open again and so you can see that we got the data again whole data here so now just uh, write the test case for this api all right so for that just come here and import your api or import your module users from right here path my path is this one users all right now just start the test case with the it you can use the it or test so api test case whatever you want to put the first parameter okay so second parameter we have to oops we can use the function Anyways, we can use the anonymous functions or the arrow functions or both are the same thing and now we are going to use the global dot fetch function and here we have to use the just dot fun dot 
uh, mock implementations okay what this uh, line will do first of all uh, now the global dot fetch have the mock function not the this one so we just call the api with the fetch function so now if we uh, did uh, did uh, this kind of things uh, i mean the just dot function and will implement the mock function then global dot function fetch will do the mock have the mock function as uh, as the uh, original fetch function okay so now let's continue okay so here you can see that uh, now we need a promise actually so we can put the promise whatever you want to name like new promise okay so as you know the promise uh, have already uh, two parameters which is uh, which one is the resolve and the second one is reject all right so now uh, we have to write the case for resolve and with the resolve we just return the data with the json format okay so we can write like that with the anonymous function and return here the json whatever you want so we can return uh, id with the like something whatever you want we can write the id one this is a proper json format so all right just format this code so okay so let's check the brackets also so all right so this is our outer bracket you can see that and what exactly this one so we also have to you close this one why this is showing the error so let me check for that okay we did not put the bracket here now that's fine so this is the promise you can see that and uh, this bracket for new promise all right so just uh, return here promise now return p so if you think that why we are going to put the two things just return uh, inside and return outside the internal function will return the json to the promise and the promise uh, now this uh, written p will return the promise to us all right so that's fine for now now we have you can take a const or a where for response mm -hmm. okay and here we will use the user dot or function from where we have to get the data and this is an async, uh, async function because this is kind of promise so we have to use the await because it will the network call and for it can be take some time and to wait for that we have we can use the await okay so now everything is fine we got the response from this function and the and it will come from that file because user dot call function okay we can remove this file for now uh, user and all is come from this file to here all right so now just expect uh, response dot id and we can use it to be like to be one it should be one why because the id is one here so what is the mock function here and what it will the output here and why the response dot id will become to one because this is coming from the this file so this is already happened with because of the mock function so actually now the user dot all data not going to fetch data from this file because fetch function global dot fetch function is using the mock function of the just implementations and now we will receive this one in our user dot all function so and the user uh, response dot id 
this one response dot id will be one because that is here so let's check it with the check so you have to write the npm test and the file name where you write the code oops we got failed here okay so we have to check that what's uh, going wrong here okay guys just give me a second mm -mm. I will be right back here actually there is a nothing big issue actually we just put the uh, ID with the small case so just use the capital case here and let's check again so clear the data I mean the clear the screen and right here so now you can see that we pass the data so if I am going to put here 2 it will tell that we have to expect 2 and we got the 1 let's check here once again so you can see that we have expected 2 and we receive 1 why because this function is returning the 1 this is the mock function of our API and we are expecting here to if I am going to just put here 2 then you can uh, run the successfully code because the both here the both and we have the two code and now you can check if you want to console the result you can console here with the control console uh, console dot uh, one let's check here and you will see that we have the data here id equal to 2 and we can access it with the id equal to 2 so i think this is a very simple tutorial for the mock and mock functioning and dash the api with the mock function so if you have any kind of confusion you can put me in the comment box your problem and if uh, if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe our channel and like the video and thanks guys thanks for watching this video